Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zap. Have you reached Salkoris' escape pod? Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Salkoris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost Admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. They've lost a leader in a war they didn't want. Their wants are immaterial. We are committed. Even Zalkoris understood the civilian fleet's importance. The invasion would be stalled without a supply chain, after all. The Geth have dug in down there. I might not bring back good news. It was always a possibility. There will be no blame if you come back empty-handed, Commander. I'm getting some static. It appears El Chorus crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact him. Be sure to proceed with caution. Zen? Admiral Zen? Well, this should make things interesting. We'll see you in a minute. Take us in to the tower. We're taking fire. The Geth installed anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. My people have been in exile for centuries. To be standing here, in the land of my ancestors? Got it. Jamming towers. Clever. But if we just towed in some asteroids... You want to drop meteors on Rannoch? You'd make it unlivable. The dust would settle, and you've already got the suits. They came so far. We need to radio Zalcoris if we're gonna find them. Let's get to that jamming tower. You all right? I'm okay. Watch out for more mines. Get below us. Guns ahead of us.
console, we should be able to disable it. One of us needs to take those AA guns offline. Garrus, you're up. Right. Drop and get! Shut down the two by the tower. My message <laughs> sent out a distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorn hats. I... Uh, I clean ancient parts. This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden. I saw I could buy the other civilians time. Fight some geth. There, there were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Can you tell me where Zalchoris is? Looking for survivors. You can radio the Admiral if you take that jamming tower offline. We'll find him, Dorn. I promise. Please, listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Chorus can get us out alive... ...and my son... Tell him. Tell Jonah that his father made it to the home world. We will rest well, Dorn Hazd Vasrenak. Let's get to that tower.
console, we should be able to disable it. Who do you want on this gun, Shepard? Garrus, take care of it. You bet. Should hop in that turret, Shepard. Right away. Get inbound! Let's get the last one. Guess by the door! Looks like data on the jamming towers. Could be useful. you on this tally. Right. Got it. signal the shuttle. Commander Shepard. Dorn didn't make it, Admiral. He didn't? Uh, I see. I'm coming in with a shuttle. Where are you? My surviving crew found their way to a clearing. I'll upload their location. 
Stay together. We'll meet you there. No. Be careful. Cut me off. I hear another wave approaching. Give us your coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. So will you. My people are non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them! Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. Gotta go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. <laughs> Commander, unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Corians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back? Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Commander, we've located the Reaper base transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth beautiful. Indicative of life. It is. Commander! Come on, Admiral. That's a living creature, no matter what platform it's running on. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. Maybe they don't have to die. 
Just because this one appears friendly. Well, it hasn't fired on a ship with me aboard it. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is, maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified, and they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes. It should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That Geth fighter squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that fighter squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. I gave in to your reckless behavior before, Han. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So pull them back. If I withdraw now, the guests will flank us and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. I gave in to your reckless behavior before, Han. Admiral Gerald is right. Withdrawing now puts the whole fleet at risk. As you say, Commander. All right, Han. You've got your ships. Thank you, Ron. You'll get them back in good condition. Thank you for your rescue efforts, Commander. I'm glad I could help. Whatever our disagreements, Admiral Corris is an excellent commander. He just might save the civilian fleet. What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Shepard Commander. We'll talk later. We will remain here. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. You've got new messages, Commander. Admiral Corus has the civilian fleet back in position, and just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. Commander? Nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. Who knew? You don't agree with the Quarians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, Maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully Admiral Chorus will keep him safe from the Geth, and themselves.
gotta say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rannoch. Ah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. Is everything okay, Shepard? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle space. Commander. Good news. I've tracked down some of the people I was looking for. The recruits you taught? Hmm. Found J-Squad? Black Ops? They're holed up making a stand in the Midwest, in Chicago, I think he said. Connected them with Anderson so they can help the resistance. It's a relief. Hope more turn up. How's everything lining up? How's everything lining up? Enjoy your day. Thanks for coming by. Get out of there. Another time. Maybe. Good to see you, Commander. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. 
My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right did your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. And synthetic life has obtained true consciousness, as was intended. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your program. Let's simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. I am disturbed the ED machine was made to look physically attractive. I suggest your Joker pilot undergo a mental examination. The one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four eyes, competitions can last for hours. I would prefer to be alone. <laughs>